all simultaneously at one time. Everybody was like, wait a minute, something not right. And they were yelling something about Ernie's father as they were beating him up. You wanna know what's heartbreaking about this whole thing? It's not funny, it's not funny. What's up Team Jazzy, it's your girl Jazzy J and I am back with another mukbang. So today's lesson in this true crime story time is your bad decisions today will ruin your kids' lives tomorrow. Today's true crime story time is about Samantha, Ernie, and their five children who are known on YouTube. Samantha and Ernie both came from loving families despite Ernie's father being on drugs. So stay tuned. Y'all know these stories get crazy. And I normally be like, let me know in the comment section what you eating. Don't, don't go to the comment section because once we find out who did it, we talk about it in the comment section. So I don't want y'all cheating. Do not scroll down, we just gonna eat. So today we are having a seafood boil feast. I got some snow crab legs, boiled eggs, cucumbers, corn on the cob, and some giant shrimp. I got some seafood garlic sauce and I also have my water. I am hungry. My mouth is watering. So I hope that you guys are eating with me. I'm gonna pray so we can get started. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for the food that I'm about to receive. I ask that it may be nourishment to my body. I ask that you bless the hands that prepared it and bless my entire team, Jazzy. Amen. Okay, I'm gonna start with the crab legs because that was the first thing that was done. Mm. Mm hmm. I didn't show y'all. Sorry, guys. My bad. I could eat crab legs all day long. That's how good they are. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I got the lemon this time too. <clears throat> Y'all, I be killing this food and I don't see, I don't feel the butter running down my chin until after I'm editing the video and I'm like, Mm, eggs. What be your favorite part to dip to dip in the butter? It's the egg for me. Oh, okay. I ain't never put out no meat like that. Why do I only have it at Brickle?
These crab legs is fire. I've been doing ASMRs lately, right? <laughs> So this story reminds me of the last story, how people want revenge on you so they'll try to kill your family. This reminds me of that video. If you saw that one, it was lit. It was, it was lit. Um, Dang, why can't I get that one out? So Samantha, who was 19 in high school and pregnant with twins. That's a lot. Like, that's a lot already. I, that was my first sentence. For this, it, of the story. So she fell on hard times trying to make ends meet. She got two extra mouths to feed and, you know, she's working, going to school, all that. Well, every now and then she would try to treat herself, you know, do something that makes her happy. You don't want to lose yourself in the midst of financial trouble, troubles and being a single mother and all that. So she goes to the tattoo parlor and Good thing she did because she found she met the love of her life, Ernie. And he didn't care that she already had children. He loved her. They both fell in love with each other. And he was working at a, a wood craft place. Um, and so he continued to work hard to provide for Samantha and her two children. And she didn't have to work or anything. Ernie was compassionate, book smart, and giving. Um, and his favorite hobby was playing video games, um, particularly Halo. 
He really liked the game Halo. He would work all day, come home to Samantha and the babies, and then he would play the game. And that's just how their life was. Everything was picture perfect. They both stayed close with their families. And three years later, Samantha ends up pregnant again. And guess what? It was twins. It was twins again. And so now they have four children. And so Ernie instantly goes and get a second job to be able to provide for his growing family. So he goes to Little Caesars and he gets a job, but that didn't change his love for video games. In 2013, Samantha found out she was pregnant again. And guess what? It wasn't twins. <laughs> but she found out she was pregnant with a baby boy and they were excited and it's like, whoa, now we have five children. But as you guys know, babies can make things even harder than what they were before. And Samantha voiced her concerns. She brought her concerns to Ernie's attention. And she's like, I don't like that you play the video game all the time. And I noticed that on the video game, there's a virtual marriage. Like, um, I guess his character married another character, but the character is also a girl that's on the game playing. And so she's like, I don't like that. And he's like, okay, you know, being the problem solver, grown providing man that he was, he's like, how can I fix this? And so um, he ended up proposing to her uh, just because he's like, okay, she didn't like that I was married in a virtual world because she was a girlfriend in reality. We have five children together. I love her so much, you know, that I don't even want her working. If she doesn't want to work, she doesn't have to. And so I want her to be my life partner. Let's make this official. And so they got married. Everything was good. After they got married, the gaming still continued. And so she's like, you know, she's picking her poison here. She's like, he just proposed to me. This is clearly what he loves to do. So I'm just going to pick up a hobby myself. I'm going to pick up a hobby on YouTube. So she started her YouTube channel and she's trying to figure out where she fits in, you know? So she does a little bit of beauty. Then I'm doing a makeup tutorial today. Um, it's my first one, so don't be too harsh. She does a little bit of vlogging. She does a little bit of speaking about her personal life, telling life stories. She's just like all over the place trying to figure this thing out. So the night of February 20th, 911 operators get a phone call from Samantha's aunt. Tuscany 911, what's your emergency? I have a home invasion. My niece is tied up. She's tied up. She is tied up and gagged. They were sleeping when three men dressed in all black broke into their house and pistol whipped Ernie and tied down Samantha. And thank God the kids didn't wake up. But they tied him down and they were yelling something about Ernie's father after as, as they were beating him up. And they abducted him. They took him and... Sam, Samantha managed to untie herself to be able to call her mother. She was calling her mother screaming and then her mother called her sister, which is Samantha's aunt, and then Samantha's aunt called 911. So normal protocol, they had to take Samantha in for questioning down at the police station while the other police officers and investigators stay at the house to just like look for clues. They said that it was because of his dad. Because of his dad? Yeah. Okay. And um, they said his dad knocked on someone and got their man thrown behind bars. And now they were taking revenge and taking someone from him. So the police back at the house, everybody is like, Everybody is in the same area that he got pistol whipped at and they're looking for clues. And it was like all simultaneously at one time, everybody was like, wait a minute. Something not right. I'm not really seeing a whole lot of blood though for somebody that was pistol whipped. No, everybody's wearing all black. Black shoes, no identifying marks on them. They also remember she had asked to go and call her mom when they first got there. And then after they pinged his phone, she started texting on her phone. 
that they're trying to right now. So, uh, they haven't heard back yet. At the same moment of the police back at the house, like, hold on, something's not right, is the exact same moment that she's being interrogated in the room, and the investigator is literally catching her in a lie. My mother is the first number on my call list. I just used my face. And so instead of calling 911 for help, you called your mother? How do you press 911 with your face? Well, how did you dial your mother with your face? I didn't dial my mother. I just pushed the first thing that was on there. It had just happened to be my mom. I think you know exactly who did this. I think the story's made up about, about the, uh, well, your daddy, his daddy, and, and, and stuff like that. And I, uh, think you know, I think you know exactly really who did, did this. And I think you're scared. And the investigator is like, I'm calling bullshit. Like, I know you didn't do it. I know you didn't hurt your husband. But I know that you know who did, though. You have no blood splatters on you. And you said he got pistol whipped. You said he was bloody. His whole face was just so bloody when they left out of here with him is what you said. There's no blood splatters on you. You don't have no, no type of bruising uh, from being tied up. All five of your children is sleeping in one bedroom furthest, the bedroom that's furthest back when they normally sleep in their own beds or just scatter around the house. How did the man know which room to go to? The story you told, you said they walked right in and went straight to the room. And they all just happened to be from head to toe, skin color and all. You, they was literally covered up from head to toe in all black. And y'all ain't got nothing. Y'all ain't got nothing for them to steal. Homegirl was like, she got scared. She was like, oh, now I remember. Oh, now you remember. Okay, let's hear it. She like, now I remember. But you can't say nothing. She starts crying. You cannot say nothing because I'm scared that they're going to come after me. My life is going to be in danger if I tell you. And they like, just tell me. And so she like, well, it's this guy on Facebook named John Rebel. And... I was talking to my friend Sarah. I just went up to the hospital to talk to her. And you know, I was telling her that how my husband, she was like, I, I just, I have a problem telling my friends my marriage issues. Today a lot of shit pissed me off so you guys get to listen to it. His dad's not having a whole lot to do with this pregnancy. And that sucks. I'm kind of screwed as far as dating goes because I, Date losers. And um, I told my friend that my husband was abusing me and my husband was abusing the kids and his, her boyfriend overheard it and jokingly he said, oh, I'll kill him. But I didn't think he was serious. I'm just, it, it may have something to do with that. I don't know though. I still don't know. They like, all right, let me see your phone. And she like, all right. And that was like, you don't have you don't have nothing to hide. You're okay with us taking your phone? She was like, yeah. She was like, I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. And so they they take the phone, they step away. Y'all. This girl. They found text messages in her phone at the same time that she asked the police, Can I go call my mom? Can I call my mom? Yeah. She texted somebody and was like Kill the phone, shut that shit down. Then at the same time that the police pinged her husband's phone and said, do you know anybody that live in Pittsburgh? And she said, no, and they turned the camera. She started texting again and she texted and she said, ditch the phone, move, is exactly what she put. So they come back and they show her, like you deleted it, but we're the police, we put it up. <laughs> she was like, it's not funny. It's not funny. She was like, um, see, I take a prescription to go. I, pay, I take pre prescription pills to go to bed at night. And the side effects, <laughs> the side effects is memory loss. So I don't remember sending that text. I don't, I don't know where that came from. That, that doesn't look like, look, that doesn't look like my handwriting. <laughs> 
So they instantly go pick up John Rebel. His real name is Jonathan. Everybody calls him John. He is uh, known to be the childhood bully and he's fresh out of prison for assault and molesting his little cousin. They go pick him up and he was like, hold on, she gonna tell on me and I did this for free? You, you gonna get on my name? Cause you in the hot seat. Okay. He came clean with everything. Everything. He came clean with it all. Samantha went to her friend and his boyfriend and was like, my husband is physically abusing me, physically, mentally abusing me. Excuse me. He's hurting the kids. And so I just need somebody to off him or put him in jail. Something that can get me sympathy on YouTube so that I can grow my YouTube channel. She wanted to grow her YouTube channel in exchange for her husband's life, her husband's free life. I've always wanted to be an actress. I think it is so much fun. One of the most amazing forms of art ever to be able to express yourself that way. So the original plan was for them to plant meth on him and get him in jail. And that's how she was going, you know, be the broke, single mom of five. Her husband just got life in prison, whatever he was going to get. Like that was going to be her story and people was going to have sympathy. But then once the meth arrived and they like, we don't want to, we, we don't want to waste this meth because the police going to end up getting it from getting it on him. And so they decided to keep the meth and just kill him. And she like, it's going to work out regardless because I'm going to be YouTube famous. And the plan was she was going to give the kids some heavy sleeping pills and put them all in one bed. She was going to leave the door unlocked, stage a break in, take him to the woods and then kill him. But y'all know what the mess, the most messed up part is about it. Like, it's so heartbreaking. You want to know what's heartbreaking about this whole thing? Jonathan said the whole time in the car on their way to the woods, Ernie was begging and pleading with them not to kill his wife. That is so sad. That is so sad. So the three men got 50 years in prison and Samantha got 150 years in prison. And now all five of her children don't have either parent. So Samantha learned a valuable lesson that your bad decisions you make today will ruin your kid's life tomorrow. There should be a vaccine made or a colony where everybody that is stupid goes and is stuck in this little place by themselves. Oh, really? Post notification goes to... Thank you so much for having your post notifications on. Shout out to you for being the first to comment on the last video. If you would like a shout out, all you have to do is be the first to comment on the next video. Always remember that it is not happiness that makes you grateful, but it's gratefulness that makes you happy. If you would like to see more true crime videos, then click right here. If you would like to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss another video, then click right here. I love you and I will see you guys in the next mukbang.